Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Powell. It's been a long, long time since I did a video. Um, you guys probably saw the video about Fuji. So, um, yeah, we pretty much kind of had a really rough few weeks. Uh, it's been tough, like pretty much just like losing a family member. And uh, yeah, it was hard times. Um, so, uh, yeah, I haven't really been doing much else, just doing house stuff and, uh, you know, just trying to keep everything together, and, um, right now I'm on my way to pick up my friend, and we're gonna go try to run around Lake Bolton. So, we'll see if it works. Hopefully it does. Um, this will be a surprise. We'll see. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of excited, kind of afraid, kind of don't give up. Um, yeah, just kind of hard, hard uh, the last few weeks to really be motivated or do stuff. So I've just really been kind of, I don't know, not doing much <laughs> uh, that I didn't need to take care of. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that I needed to take care of, but besides that, I didn't really do much. So, um, yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, I'll try and make this a be a little bit more upbeat, uh, but I just kind of had to get that out of the way, so uh, let's see what happens. We're going to camp by our car tonight um, in the parking lot, and uh, then we'll be starting at 4.50 in the morning, so early night, and uh, I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Okay, so my buddy's off on the first leg. Uh, I just made it to the uh, checkpoint where we're gonna change the relay point, and uh, I have enough time to just get dressed and maybe take a short nap. I'm still pretty tired. Um, had a pretty okay night of sleep. We slept in the tent, um, just in the parking lot near the uh, an empty field, like near the start point. So it was pretty okay. It's a little bit chilly now, so uh, gonna get moving and take a nap. My favorite uh, section of the race is actually my first leg here. Never been on this part when it's this early, so it's actually quite chilly. I'm in uh, long pants and I had an extra shirt on, a long sleeve. I've since taken that off. Now I'm doing my power walk up the big hill here. Started from down there in the little village. And we got quite a ways to go up. So I'm just doing my power walk now. <clears throat> All right, I've been running about seven and a half K, I think, and get my first glimpse of the bottom over there. So you can see the beautiful lake coming down into Dergica. Down, pretty good, a little bit fast. <clears throat> the uh, thing is, I think at the beginning, we just kind of over, like, <laughs> at, or underestimate how fast we'll go. Happens every year. Anyway, having a little snack now. Heart-shaped brownie. Uh, this recipe is sick. I'm gonna make a separate video about this for you guys because it's so good. Oil-free. Um, it's really good, man. Got some heart-shaped ones because they're made with love. I got some round ones because uh, we need to roll. And uh, I gotta go. More food coming up later. Figs, dates. Got some aspirin in there too. Hopefully I won't need that. Got some oats, lots of stuff. All right, see you guys in a bit. Just started my second run here. Some beautiful countryside. Just left Zanko. And uh, I love these sections. Can't see the lake, but it's beautiful. About halfway through my uh, current leg here. So far, so good. Got some nice 
music coming up in this checkpoint. It's rocking. In here by the car, by the roadside, waiting. I got a maybe 25, 30 minute nap time. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to fall asleep, but I'm gonna lay down for sure. And uh, then I'll make my way up to the relay point and hopefully meet my friend in about half an hour or 45 minutes or something like that. See you guys in a bit. Did you look at that hillside? It's so beautiful. Merci. I love it. We're going towards Badachon. If anybody hasn't seen the video from last year, check that one out. I tell you guys a little bit about this road. This uh, was built, I guess, back in the Roman days. It's still called the Roman Road, Romayut. And uh, you have beautiful uh, historic kind of buildings here. You have the Molaton down yonder. It's an amazing view. Got some awesome like weekend houses up here and places you can stay, a lot of wineries. Nice old wine cellars and stuff up in the hills. It's really awesome. I, uh, I love going through this part. I kind of hate running it because there's like little hills like this constantly. And when you're tired, it's like not like pleasant. But uh, because the race got changed this year, like the start point is in a different place. Um, I'm on fresher legs here than I was last year. So I'm not really feeling that bad yet, which is good. I'm pretty happy about that. And, uh, you know, just breaking it up with some walking when I get to level spots, I run. Just like I did on my uh, little 31K. Look at that. Just the water's so beautiful. I love it. It's so blue. Hope you guys can see it in the video. I'm kind of just moving along, so I can't really be bothered to uh, give you nice scenery, but uh, hopefully it's all right and enjoyable. It's really cool. Here, I'll stop for one minute. Get a clear shot. All right, back to running. Doing pretty good. So far, so good. I got about 3K left on this uh, run. This is my third run. And I uh, just crossed over into uh, Badachon Tvrdamits, uh, I think is the place we're in. But anyway, um, just had some good food at an aid station. They have really good options here. It's really cool. They got a bunch of fruit, like dried fruit. They have canned peaches. I got tomatoes, you can just dip them in salt and stuff. It's really good. So uh, just reminded me of something I wanted to share with you guys. A friend of mine, he's a very accomplished runner, good good friend and coach. He jokingly says that uh, ultra running is not about like running. It's really about eating. It's an eating contest. See who can replenish their calories and not get their stomach upset. To some extent, I think it's probably true. <clears throat> I find that the simplest foods work best for me. So I've just been sticking with the potatoes and uh, and the beets and uh, lots of fr dried fruit, bananas, stuff like that. Simple things. No heavy oil kind of stuff. Um, that works for me. So uh, I got a good ways to walk here. I'm going to get some water. See you guys in a bit. I guess it's another perk of... Uh, starting the race in a different place. Usually when we get here, it's kind of like late and uh, almost dark, but now it's like really beautiful. Should hopefully see some more of the lake before it uh, gets to be dark. Okay, so past the, the 80 kilometer mark in total. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Just saw it back there. I'm about halfway through my fourth run now. So we've got about six and a half left to go on this leg. Feeling okay, just had a little food. Um, so far, so good. I mean, I'm definitely tired and there's little, you know, aches and pains and stuff, but uh, so far, knock on wood, so good. Hey, everybody. Um, didn't make it. <laughs> So, don't really have any footage after uh, things started going south. <laughs> Basically, uh, things fell apart for me 
started getting bad kind of in my f fifth run. Fourth one was still pretty good, and then uh, it just got progressively worse. The sixth one was like kind of rough, and um, my mood just wasn't good. Like I just didn't really feel like I was in it, you know. And um, and then the seventh one just outright sucked. It was uh, raining like steadily, and it was really cold. The first half of that run. I was still kind of okay, and I was even moving pretty decently, I would say, but uh, not, I mean, not according to plan or anything, but uh, but I was still at least moving in my, I don't know, like my feeling was still okay, but <clears throat> then I started getting really cold, and I started slowing down, and that made things even worse. I was freezing by the time I got in, and uh, I mean, I was just like, there's no way in hell I'm going back out in the rain again, and my friend, um, you know, ran another one after that in, you know, just as bad rain. And uh, he was out there for two hours, I was out there for two hours. And then when he came in, it was like 4.50 in the morning and it was just pouring. And um, from there, like, I still would have had three legs to go and he would have had two legs left. And uh, we were still like, okay on time. I don't think we would have, um, you know, been cut off from the race, but, uh, I just couldn't bring myself to go out in the rain anymore and um, so we decided to just sit in the car and wait to see if the rain stopped. A lot of people were saying it was going to stop. Um, of course they had been saying that for like for an hour <laughs> um, or more, actually no, like two hours <laughs> and it hadn't passed and um, it was still pouring. So then we set an alarm for 6 a.m. to see if it stopped raining. We woke up, it was still pouring. Then we said okay we'll set it to 7 and it was still pouring and then by like around, I don't know, 7.30 or so, it had pretty much kind of stopped. It was like a light drizzle. But uh, just knowing like kind of how badly I was moving by that point, it was going to be really questionable whether we would actually make it in before the cutoff time anyway. And I was just in no kind of mood to really try. I pretty much gave up. So um, I guess I just want to say thank you to my running partner and friend. Um, you know who you are and you're awesome and a true inspiration to me and um, thank you to everybody who kind of gave me good wishes and supported me uh, my wife is awesome she's very supportive of doing these stupid <laughs> kind of uh, events and um, I don't know with just everything we have going on in our lives and the kids and everything uh, yeah it means a lot to me that uh, she puts up with my kind of craziness and um, so yeah, anyway, I gave up after the seventh run, so I covered like 78 kilometers if I remember, something like that. I'll put in the stats if anybody's interested. <laughs> and um, yeah, there would have still been like 32 or something left to go, and I was just, I don't know, didn't have it in me today. So uh, I'm on my way home now, just dropped off my friend, <clears throat> and um, yeah, a couple lessons to take for the future I guess is uh, it's really really helpful to have a driver <laughs> um, it was definitely way harder uh, without the driver some things were pretty okay like we we didn't have any trouble finding the car or anything like that it was the transitions were quick we were able to you know keep moving that was not a problem but what ended up happening is you had like a lot less time to rest in between and um, my friend, God bless him, he, uh, he was so fast <laughs> that like, um, you know, by the time I got into the next station and, and just had a quick bite to eat and changed, I had like 20, 30 minutes to get ready, or, you know, uh, to like nap. So it just wasn't very uh, much time. And um, if we had a driver, I would have had a little bit longer because I could have been like changing in the car while we were already going or something like that. So <clears throat> yeah, I guess that's just kind of like a big thing. Um, nutrition wise, uh, I was fine. Um, my stomach was okay. I didn't have any problems. Uh, the same foods from last year and the year before, it worked fine. Uh, so that, that was fine. Um, really, I think it, it wasn't a nutrition problem. It was just, I was really grossly underprepared and, um, and it really showed. And whereas last year, you know, I had like no real low point in the race, except for, you know, the last bit where my ankle got swollen. Um, which wasn't even really like, I don't know, I mean that, that can just happen I guess, but uh, you know, I, 
I should have been more prepared then too, but this year I was just like really not prepared. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. Um, there were some really great sights to be seen. Uh, I was not filming at night. Um, you know, mostly because I was just dead tired and I was like not really having time in the uh, in-between parts. I was just concentrating on trying to, you know, uh, sleep and try to get as much rest as possible where I just had my legs up. And um, yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If anybody's interested in running, I highly recommend this event. It's super fun. Um, you know, you can sign up with a big team too. So if you're not fully, uh, you know, into like huge distances, you can do it as a 10 person team. Um, really great fun. And uh, of course, if you're really into running, you could run the whole thing by yourself, all 220K. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you in the next video. And thanks to everybody for your support and, you know, subscribing and um, comments and all that stuff. So thanks and see you guys soon. Bye.